What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to Train Sim World and we're uh, once again on the Long Island Railroad. Uh, we're doing Hempstead to Atlantic Terminal. I was going to do Ron Concoma, I think I said that wrong, to Atlantic Terminal but no trains actually run that so yeah. Right, I need to put the headlights on. Uh, can I put the cab light on? I can indeed. It has been a while since I've played this game. Uh, about a week, I think. Well, no, about a month, and I don't know. Been a while, right? I need to turn the key on. Put the controller into no. Put the reverser into forward. Put this on max brake, and I need to charge the brakes. Got to go all the way up to ninety on that little dial on my left there. There it goes. That is good. I also need to put the windscreen wiper on. I need to unlock the doors. God damn it. Which side? Which side left? God. Ugh. I'm not very good at this. We're going to be late. We're totally going to be late. <laughs> this is a great start. Uh, windshield heater. We're doing this in a blizzard, which should be quite interesting, right? Intermittent one. Ah, there it goes. I'm feeling it's going to have to be a bit stronger than that. <laughs> Maybe intermittent two. That should be good enough. It is going to be hard seeing the signals in this weather. Like, seriously. Um, lock left. Right, when's our first stop? We're totally going to be late. I know we are. This is going to suck. Yeah, <laughs> one minute. That's good. Right, we're in forward. Release the brakes. Please start moving. Yes! Yeah, we're totally going to be late. This is not a good start, guys. <laughs> uh, I'm making this video kind of because I had a day off and I haven't made a video in a while. So, that's why I'm doing this. Um, also, I, I, just, I like this game. One more to say. Um, I haven't made a video in a while which sucks, but it's once again it's because of work and something else that I'm doing which is pretty awesome. Um, my tenancy for my flat or apartment, however you want to say it, runs out at the end of July and basically we're moving. So we've been hunting for a house and we're gonna try and mortgage one, me and my flatmates, rather than rent one because it will work out better in the long run. And of course we're looking for faster in there, and that's just been a hellhole, so every day I have off pretty much, I'm doing that, so that sucks. And the other reason is purely because every day off I have is spent, <laughs> well pretty much, instead of having every weekend off, I have every other weekend off, and it's on the weekends I record, so it is pretty tricky. So I just wanted to clear the air with that, let you guys into know into what's happening. Uh, yeah, we're going to be late to this station. Sucks. But yeah, I, I wanted to let you guys know why. It's not me being lazy, I promise, even though I am a lazy bastard. Look at all the snow on the side of that train. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, nice blizzard at 3am. <laughs> uh, this would not be fun driving in real life, I feel. Right, we need to slow down to the station here. Nine miles an hour. Stopping about right, but we are a minute late. And unlock right, let all the snow covered, freezing cold people on because I'm a nice person. So, yeah, we're doing, if I show you the map real quick, we're going from there to. Uh, where is it? There, Atlantic Terminal. There's New York Penn, and there's the Ronconcoma. I can't really say that, but that's the other place I was going to go to, but we can't. Maybe in another video. Yes, lock the doors. Lock right. There it goes. No. <laughs> Hashtag panic attack. All right, let's get out of here. 15 miles an hour. Could barely see anything ahead of me. 
We do have a 70 limit coming up soon, though. Oh, sugar, I'm speeding. Um, signals. I need to really look out for signals because I can't freaking see them. What I think I'm going to do is keep an eye on this here. If that starts dropping, I know we're coming up to a red light. If it goes down to 15, I believe that means there's a red light coming up. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm not a pro. Definitely not that. Right. I'm going to accelerate a little bit. This is the slow part of the journey, needless to say. We'll be joining the main line now. Just try and keep our speed up. Especially on the low speed sections, that's... Is that a red? I think that means red. That means stop, I'm sure it does. Doesn't it? Ah, uh, if I'm wrong now... I'm sure that means stop. Proceed at restricted speed. Nice. So, what would you class as restricted speed? 10? I mean, 15 you could stop. I'm, I'm just going to proceed at normal speed. Yeah, 15. Well, boy, am I glad I spotted that. I'm going to stick to 15. But as I was saying, at low speed, sticking as close to the speed limit as you can is more important than at high speed because it'll be a greater increase on how fast you're going. That's pretty much the best I can explain that. Right, we need our signal speed. Guard. God, this weather. Jeez. I might use that as my thumbnail. That's pretty much as good as I'm going to get. Oh, Christ, man. <laughs> I can't see anything. Right, come on, give us a 70 limit. I think once the back of the train clears, I can't even see the back of the train. <laughs> we should be good to accelerate. Maybe? No, here's our station here anyway. Yeah, we're good to accelerate. I'm going to ignore the signal speed limit. Because I'm a bad at. Just coast into the station gently. Yeah, I'm still not entirely sure how the stations and such work in America, like the signals. But yeah, slanted means red, horizontal means good to pass. That's pretty much as simplified as I can make it for myself. <laughs> Alright, lock right. I don't know if we're late to that, I think we're a minute and a half late to that. But then to be fair, we had a red light, so... What do you want me to do, hey? Just load up these passengers real quick. Get yeah, going. Somewhere nice and warm. Atlantic Terminal. That sounds really warm. No, it doesn't. It sounds like a... It sounds like just a horrible place. No offense. If you're from Atlantic Terminal, I'm sorry. Right, let's go. Nassau Boulevard. Is that our next place? Our next port of call? Full throttle, baby. We can do this. We got this. 60 mile an hour limit. We got this. About to go 70. I actually kind of wish we got blizzards in the UK. I don't know. I I'm very much a cold weather person. I hate the hot weather. Sat here now with my fan on and my window open just because I hate the hot weather. It, it'd be cool, you know, just one day to wake up and you've got a foot and a half of snow. Not every year, obviously. That would be annoying. But just every couple of years or something, we have a major blizzard. And you just say, right, I'm going to chill. I'm going to have some breakfast. And I'm going to do what the hell I want. And work got to pay me anyway. Because 
Well, they have to. <laughs> it would be so nice. Unless you're on agency. Then it would kind of suck. Problem is, every time there's like a flake of snow, all of the UK panics. Like, oh, we can't do anything, we're gonna die! And it's like, dude, check. My favourite thing about weather... <laughs> It's, oh my god, that's the station. We're not making this, guys. I just went into emergency break as well. Ah, uh, I was going to swear then, but I thought I'd behave myself. Well, I just messed up. Uh, and I'm not actually sure how to get out of emergency braking. Right. Oh, apparently this is good enough. Do you know what, then? That'll do. Unlock the doors on the right. <laughs> That's so stupid. I think I know how to get out the emergency brake. I need to charge the brakes again. I need to lock the doors on the right. I think I need to go into max braking. Yep, need to charge the brakes up again. That's how it works, basically. If you press the emergency brake, it just slams all the air in the system onto the brake pads to lock them. Okay, what am I missing? Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, you have to reset the brakes when that happens, which is a pain in the ass. But yeah, as I was saying, as soon as there's one, like, flake of snow in the UK, everyone panics and says, oh, there's going to be a blizzard, you know, we need, we need to stock up on food. So they go to the supermarket and they buy bread and milk, which perishes in about 10 days at most. Like, it makes no sense. Surely you'd be better off getting, like, tins of sweet corn, peas, uh, maybe some tuna. I mean, it wouldn't be the best lunch, but if you're going to starve to death anyway, you might as well have something decent. Once again, I almost missed the station because I'm panicking trying to make up speed. Make up time. You can barely see sh out the window. Jeez. This is the view around the train. My god. I overbraked a lot then. Once again, you see, I panicked. <laughs> I have a habit of panicking. It's, it's, it's the weather is getting to me, okay? I'm going to go out and buy some bread and milk. But yeah, I, I really don't get the logic of that. My god, we're going to be locked in a house for ages. Quick, get some food that goes off next week. <laughs> or another funny one I saw is... Um, <laughs> they they, they uh, forecast a load of snow before. So one of my friends' mums, again, I overshot the station. Ah, well. Went out and bought a windscreen protector to keep the snow off their windscreen. The idea being that they can just lift it off and then you start driving again. Even though they were thinking, oh, there's going to be feet, feet of snow. It's like, that's it's pointless. Just accept it's going to snow, grab some tuna and sweet corn and all that nonsense. No one use this door here, okay? You might fall to your death. And, and just, it makes no sense. Right, come on. I've just been blabbering on about random stuff. About weather. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to... Basically remember how to operate this train. I don't know, my memory fades real quick on the controls on a game. Full speed. I'm determined to catch up on our schedule. We're about a minute behind. No, we're not. Get to Floral Park at 3.24. It's currently 3.25. <laughs> oh, man. We are doing so badly at this. By me, I, by we, I mean me. I, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider me a failure as a driver if we reach the last stop, Atlantic Terminal, and I'm late. I can accept... Oh, 45 limit coming up. I can accept being late to every single thing, every stop, but the last one, and I'd say that that's decent. If I'm late to Atlantic, though, I'll admit that I'm a terrible driver. I reckon I can reclaw it. 
not far from the station now, doing 45 miles an hour, there's the station building. Braking hard. Yeah, we can make this. We totally got this. I have mentioned it before, but the reason I'm driving in first person so much is because I find it easier to judge things. At outside view, especially in this weather, I just get so disorientated. I'm the embodiment of vertigo. Come on, slow down. Here's my good girl. My train's a girl. Will it accept that, or do we have to pass the marker? Please accept it. Yes. Unlock right. We've totally got this, guys. Yeah, I could use that as my thumbnail. See, it's weird having to think about things like this. When I was a kid, I'd just play. <laughs> oh, God. What what doing? I think my mouse glitched out then. That's what that was. Lock right. Yeah, that, okay, I found a glitch. After you use the uh, thing, the t whatever that's called, your uh, mouse freaks out a little bit. So that's good to know. Right, speed limit is 70. We totally got this, guys. 60. Still, we've totally got this. I don't know what that signal meant. It was horizontal. Max speed. Well, we didn't fail the scenario, so <laughs> that, that's good. Yeah. I don't know. I reckon we can reclaw all this time we've lost by uh, at Atlantic Tunnel. Get to Bellarose by 326. It's 328, god damn it. Look, there's no chance. <laughs> no chance of getting there on time. Oh, sugar. Full break. Ah, oh, they didn't realise it was this close. Please stop. We... No, we're just gonna overshoot, I think. Or are we? No, we've got this, guys. Hey, we got a friend as well. Hey, friend, how's it going? This this blizzard is so bad. All right, I need to lock the doors again. Lock left. Beep 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 beep. Nope. Oh yeah, it is doing it. Full speed. Eighty miles an hour. Yeah, this is where we're gonna start clawing back time, guys. I have faith. Even though the next stop, 3.29, is currently 3.29 and 33 seconds. <sighs> it's the ones that are close together that get you. As soon as you're late on one, it just cascades. You're late on all of them. There's just no time to reclaw it back. We're going to break the speed limit here as well, I think. Oh, just throw a 30 at me. Why not? Start slowing down for that. Are we changing track or something? I think I slowed... Yeah, I slowed down a bit early then. Yeah, I think we're changing track. Is it worth speeding on a place I know I can speed to make up that time we lost? Or do I just accept that I'm a bad driver and I'm going to be late? That's the decision I got to make. I know I can I know a good place to speed. It's a straight line, like seriously. Yeah, we're changing track. I wonder if it actually takes into account these 30 limits and stuff like that. I'm not sure it does. Right. God, this blizzard's bad. I'm honestly surprised they're still running trains in this weather. Probably shouldn't be using max brake like that, but fuck it. <laughs> that's that's my answer to everything. Fuck it. And unlock right. Nice little 
little view outside. God, it's dark. Then it is 3 a.m. Are my headlights on full? Yep, apparently they are. God, it actually looks eerie. Don't you think? Uh, lock right. Pop back in the cab. Good to go. What's the speed limit? 80. We can hit 80. We've got this. We totally got this, guys. We're still not clawing back time, though. We're a stop behind schedule. That's how bad it is right now. A stop behind schedule. If they cut out the next stop, we could probably catch up all that time. It's like we're leaving one stop at the time we should be at the next. So yeah, it's pretty bad. I wonder if this cab has a heater. It probably does. It's probably nice and toasty in you. I have the fire on full. Can I open? I can totally open that. That's cool. Oh, it actually increases the sound of the train as well. That's double cool. That's cool with a cherry on top. Right, I'm going to start braking for this uh, speed limit now. I'm thinking four, five, yeah, five. Break me the five. Are we slowing down fast enough? That is what I'm wondering. Um, I think we're doing quite... Yeah, we should be okay stopping. The station's going to loom in the distance from the side now. There it is. Yeah, I'm going to increase to eight, I think. Oh, no, that wasn't the station. Never mind. Oh, this is a small station. The train's going to overhang it anyway. Not too bad. Stopped about perfect there. Nice. I, I'll take that. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, that was pretty decent. Could have done with a few feet forward to hit the railing, but you know. Beggars can't be choosers, and terrible drivers can't drive. I probably chose, should have chose a daytime route. I feel that would have been smart. Yeah, probably should have. Got a 35 limit, but that's 1.6 miles out, so that's fine. Right, stop at Jamaica at 37, so we got two minutes. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, I, it's, I, I don't have much faith in my ability now. I might just speed like hell to win like Atlantic Terminal. And drop the last four miles per hour. Perfecto. And we've got 0.8 miles to cruise into the station. I'm just going to go outside of you then. Got a 15 limit coming up soon. It's pointless going outside of you, I can't freaking see anything. That is so dark. Oh my god. Hey, there's snow on the ground. Surprisingly. <laughs> in, a, in a blizzard. There's me saying I'm going to keep an eye on the signals. I haven't paid attention to any of the signals so far. 15 limit coming up though. Should probably start breaking for that. So he's meant to be there at 13.37, it's 13.37 and 30 seconds now. Probably take us another minute or so to get there. We're changing track here. And there it warns us. Come on, slow down. There it goes. I reckon, I think the next stop after this is Atlantic Terminal and it's quite far away. 
I think that's where we can claw back the time. I'm going to try my best. We'll have about a minute and a half to make up. I'm not even sure if that's possible. I really are. I really are. Uh, uh, I'm really not. God, shows I haven't recorded a video in a while. I'm stuttering at everything. I don't know what I'm saying. Right. Need to start slowing down for the station now. Try notch two of braking. No. It's too early, man. It's too early. I worked out fine. And unlock right, baby. Let's make up some time. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be tough. No one's even getting on. Well, it is three in the morning. I guess no one actually cares if it's late, that means. That's what I hope it means. Right, let's go, 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 baby. Lock right. Next stop, Atlantic Terminal. We got this. We've totally got this. Right. Let's go. What's the speed limit? 15? 35? We're just crossing over. I swear I saw a 10 mile an hour limit somewhere, though. Right, let's go 15 till it goes up. Jamaica. I wonder if Jamaica's a rough area. It looks quite nice from the f videos and things I've seen of it online. Programs in around New York. Start accelerating, baby. And off we go. 70 limit coming up. Train going over the top of us. 60 limit. That's on the signals, that's 60 limit. So 45, we can go here. Determined to make up some time. Forty four, forty five, right cut the throttle. Till we hit the seventy. That's a big yard. That's probably where they store the trains. No trains in there, though. Right, come on, give us a 70 limit. There it goes. Full throttle, baby. Right, we're going under a tunnel, so in theory, we don't need the windscreen wipers anymore. Even though there's still apparently smoke in the tunnel, for whatever reason. Come on, six, 70 miles an hour. 69, nah. Giggity. Right, if we can maintain exactly 70, gotta be there in, uh, no, I don't know, two minutes. Nah, that ain't doing it. That ain't happening. We'd have to be doing 120 to make up all that time. And there's a 45 limit coming up, so... Oh, man. I felt so confident we could do this. We're actually speeding as well, and we're still not going to make it up. Yeah, two minutes to do three miles. That's, you'd have to be going 90 miles an hour at least to make it. Do we even have a chance? This train won't even do 90 miles an hour, I don't think. Uh, we, Needless to say, we really did quite badly today. But then equally, to be fair, I just woke up. <laughs> it may be four in the afternoon, but I just woke up. No, I'm kidding. 70 miles an hour.
even if I ignore that 45 limit, we're still not going to be close to making it on time. That's kind of annoying how it still has the blizzard smoke effect in the tunnel. I think that may be an oversight. Oh, that's interesting. The signals have changed. They're now green and red, whatever that means. Anyway, I've been obeying the speed limit. I'm actually under the speed limit right now. I need to sort that out. I've been obe obeying the speed limit all the way here. <laughs> it, yeah, we're nowhere even close to making it on time. We've already gone past the allotted time by over a minute and a half. Another green and red signal. I don't know what that means. Stop showing me them. This is now stop. Yes, it is. Oh, gosh. This is an Atlantic Terminal. That might be why. Oh, God. We're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. We're going to make it. God, I'm good at this. I'm not. Honestly, listening to my videos, I don't know why you guys do it. It's like being in the mind of a schizophrenic. Everything I say contradicts itself, like. And unlock right. Yeah, I just, I completely didn't pay attention to the thing. I just, every time I've run it, the last stop is Atlantic Terminal. So I just expected it to be Atlantic Terminal for whatever reason. Oh, that, that explains a lot. I was like, this isn't what I went to last time. And you're right, I'm right, it's not. Alright, lock the doors. Which takes forever for them to close, it feels like. And go, go, go. Full throttle. Not that that'll make much difference. Right, 2.3 miles, gotta get there by 49. Uh, so two minutes, not happening. Again, this is just not happening. Yeah, we're so far behind schedule. I cut out a lot of the uh, tunnel journey purely because, well, it was the same thing over and over again. There was nothing changing. And I'm just not interested enough to fill that time. No, I'm kidding. Nah, the, the, if, if I'm honest, the smoke effects of the blizzard, which you can see now, that was actually really annoying me for some reason. I was like, I can't torture you with that. And as I say, it was just the same thing over and over again, the length of the tunnel. So I just figured, why not cut it out? Right, 3.49, yeah, we're not going to make that. We're 1.8 miles out. Got a 30 limit coming up. You see, the 30 limit's closer than the destination. But it puts it behind, so you can't see how far away it is. <sighs> logic. There is no logic in the world anymore. This is a long ass tunnel though. I feel like we're probably going underneath a river. Oh. We're above ground. That's unexpected. Hmm. I know, I could have sworn that the Atlantic Terminal was an underground station. I don't know why I thought that, I just did. <laughs> Oh, I need my wipers again as well. I can't remember what the keyboard shortcut for wipers is, so I'm just going to stick with That'll do. Intermittent 3. 45. I love the way the speedometers don't match up. 45, 44. Whatever. That's a green light, I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Right, North Strad Avenue, so the next... I don't know why I was convinced that Atlantic Terminal was the the next stop. I guess last time I just didn't stop at these. You know, accelerate back up to the limit a little bit. Yeah, four more. And uh, come on, give last mile an hour. There it goes. Wrong way. God damn it. <laughs> I've been so precise there, and then I clicked the thrall the wrong way and sped. Oh well. Start slowing down now, I feel. I don't know what North Strad Station Avenue looks like. I assume it's an above ground station.
God, you really can't see anything in this view. Yeah, note to self, next time choose a day daytime route. Start slowing down here. These trains are pretty easy to drive, I've got to be fair. I'd love to be a train driver. Just sit there and chill all day. All you got to do is keep an eye on the signal sign. Now that was a perfect stop. I am happy with that. Look at that. I'm in line with the fence. I can't really show you. I would take that any day. I'm proud. Proud of myself. Elevated station. Look at the snow on the windows, like Jesus Christ. Lock right. Let's go, go, go. To a 30 mile an hour limit. <laughs> 356, we got just shy of five minutes. Still not gonna do it, I don't think. I don't know, I just can't see it happening, especially with a fucking a five limit. Five miles an hour. That is unreasonable. <laughs> I still don't think we're gonna do this on time. I mean I could if I ignore the fifty the five mile an hour limit, but that's kind of cheating, isn't it? We got this. We don't got this. I don't know if we got this. If I claw it back right at the end, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to leave it to the very last second to break. That's probably a dumb idea. Oh, I'm speeding. Alright, break here. Yeah, we're going to speed. Are we going to speed? I don't know. We might speed. As you know, we got this. We totally got this, guys. Remember, I'm a professional. <laughs> it's a weird feeling doing 15 and being three times the limit. <laughs> Yellow signal, don't know what that means. Still speeding. Five miles an hour is way too slow. And those effects are really bothering me now. I'm never ever doing this route again, with a blizzard especially. If I can keep the speed at 5.9, I think that counts it as on the speed limit. Let's give that a try. I ain't being funny, there's no, no need at all for a 5 mile per hour limit. Like, that's walking pace. It's so slow. You, you could have made that at least a 10. The thing is, in real life, if you're on a train that's doing five miles an hour, you're gonna get bored and be like, why the hell are you going so slow? I paid to get somewhere as fast as you can get me there. Why are we going so slow? It's like, I don't know if you've ever been sat on a train for hours, it's not fun. <laughs> and if you're looking out the window and it's barely moving, you're like, right, so why? Why? Build the track straighter. It's not hard. You know, not like I'm easily annoyed or anything. That's the shortest platform ever on the left there. <laughs> oh man. Right, we're almost at the end now. I have to stop from five miles an hour. If I hit the buffer now, I'm going to be pissed. I'm actually going to shoot someone. Shoot the neighbor's cat. The neighbor doesn't have a cat, but I'll shoot it anyway. I'm going to unlock left just to take the purse. No, go away. Oh, the left doors didn't open. Ah oh, well. Yeah, they did. <laughs> the front carriage can get out on this platform. Oh man, Atlantic Terminal. Welcome to the final destination. Uh, and that was the ramblings of a psychopath. So thank you guys so much for listening to that. What's wrong with you? And uh, I hope you mildly enjoyed this video. Oh my god, we leveled up a lot then. Boom. 
Late for all of them. Late, 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 very 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 late. They're not too bad late. Not too bad late. Ah, oh, that sucked. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm sorry for not having that many videos recently. Um, I do have two weeks off. In fact, I'll tell you my schedule in advance. I've uh, swapped a weekend in June, so I'm working two weekends, so I won't have many videos then. But I've got two weekends off, so I'll have time to record then. So that should be good. And then July, I've got the last two weeks, so like two and a half weeks in July, off so I can get moved, so I can move my house. Hopefully then I will have super fast internet and I can start streaming again. So I've got my fingers crossed there, but I will hopefully see you next time. Peace out, guys.